So ground surface plus some hand scraping plus decided to machine scrape it afterwards. Um, bubble is at one plus there. So we move to the middle. So two plus, and that's high here. And at the end, it's two and a half. Oh no, it's two. It's two there also. So all together. Two, um, lines and this is established as 10 or 12 centimeters so I would say that it's divided by 8 or 10 so this is a two hundreds of a millimeter per meter so that would be roughly two to two and a half thousands per division so flatness is within Four to five thousands of a millimeter, or say um, twist, which is pretty good, I think. And it blues up nicely. And the surface. Surface is at least appealing to some. And that's a machine scraped surface. set up um, a small test of surface let's say roughness or the surface quality and um, comparing the scraped surface here uh, which is uh, well I think it looks good compared to the uh, to the ground surfaces here if you Look at that one, it's a little bit stripy, but nonetheless, we will see it is flat. So let's make a comparison. I trust that you can all see the scale now. I will z pretend it's now zero there, or it is zero. Then we can move it little bit and you'll see the needle fluctuates between zero and that's for the sake of the argument say one that's one hundredth of a millimeter probably a little bit less now if we move the indicator over to the other bed here you can see it's on zero and yes this is a one hundredth of a millimeter indicator but still you can you should see that it's there is no deviation whatsoever and also here on the bed that was a bit stripey or is the
the same thing happens, needle stays stays put.